Morning guys, so unfortunately my OG Xbox died last week. Um, it's producing an Error 7 um, and the hard drive, uh, standard 2002 issue hard drive, is making like a clicking noise and it won't boot up. Um, so I presume the hard drive's dead. Um, I'm just going to start it up just so you can uh, hear what it sounds like um, on booting. So yeah, you'll just so you can kind of ID the clicking noise. And there you go. <clears throat> Hopefully you should be able to hear that. And from what I've read with the Error 7 and um, that clicking noise, not booting, and the um, main light flashing like that, then it's a, um, a dead hard drive. So what I've done, I've uh, I've got a solid state drive, uh, a cheap one, seven pound from Amazon lying around, 128 gig. Um, I've got that, I'm gonna replace this hard drive with that. Um, I've bought some parts, um, a SATA adapter, an IDE cable, and like a caddy to put the SSD in. And I'm just gonna use this video just to kind of go through kind of what you need to do. All right, which will be the process of um, obviously swapping the hard drive out. But before we do all that as well, um, I'll run through the parts needed and how to use um, a piece of software called Fat Explorer that's free to learn on the internet, where you can set up a new hard drive or solid state drive to put in your OG Xbox. Right, so here's the parts that are needed then guys. So um, this is a SATA adapter which I believe takes the original Xbox Power and IDE port there and replaces it with a nice new two and a half inch, um, as you can see in the bag there, two and a half inch SATA port. So you can just plug a solid state in or a modern hard drive in, no problem. Um, 3D printed caddy just to drop the new solid state drive into the existing kind of hardware. I think these holes are there so I can secure the underside of the solid state drive with these screws. And uh, the seller who I bought these parts from recommended that I get a new IDE cable. I think this is a high speed one. I don't know whether this is to make the new solid state drive compatible or just makes it run faster. I'm not 100% sure, but he did recommend I bought, bought that. So he or she recommended I bought that. Um, and I will put a link down to the seller's um, e eBay site um, in the description of this video. Okay, so um, next part of the video, I'll show you how to set up your new hard drive on Fat Explorer. And before you do this as well, it's important um, if you've soft modded your, your Xbox, you really need to have a modded or soft modded Xbox, that you've got the HD key uh, because you need to use Fat Explorer to encode the HD key, key into the new hard drive so that the Xbox can read it and recognize it and, and run from there. If you haven't got the HD key, uh, you're a little bit stuck to the best of my knowledge. Um, the HD key, I got it from when I had Insignia installed and it showed me the HD key. But also if you've got a soft modded Xbox, you can get the EPROM key, um, sorry, EPROM backed up with the key from there and you can load that into Fat Explorer to unlock the drive and lock the drive as well. Okay, so um, next part of the video, I'll show you how to use Fat Explorer to set up your drive. Bits of equipment you'll need, um, a T20 Torx uh, driver, to get the um, the bottom of the shell off to, so you can lift it off in the Xbox. And then that's the T10 Torx driver, just for removing the disc caddies as well. And there you can see the USB to SATA adapter, what you'll need to plug your hard drive into your PC, um, so you can format the hard drive or solid state drive with um, Fat Explorer, which you watch our detail next. Right, so what you need to do next is just to um, download Fat Explorer. You can get that from the Fat Explorer website. Just click on that. Um, what you want is the 3.0 beta or beta. And you can just download it there. Um, get the 64 bit version if you've got a modern machine. And um, yeah, once that, so once you've got it downloaded, just run it. And then what you'll see is that there's obviously there's nothing connected at the moment because I've got the uh, SATA adapter plugged in, the USB SATA adapter. But um, there you'd see, <clears throat> show you what kind of hard drive you've got connected. You've got your formatting tools there. So you can make an OG Xbox hard drive, uh, a memory unit as well, if you want to put that onto a USB stick. And that's for the Xbox 360 there, but we won't go into kind of that. Um, now this is what you need to go on to <clears throat> to lock your new drive. So you're going to put your HD key, um, what you've got note of just in there, and then <clears throat> hit unlock or lock, and it'll lock um, it'll lock the um, hard drive or solid state drive ready to use in your um, Xbox. 
Um, I don't use a null HDD key because I want to use Insignia and if you, you null the key, you won't be able to go online with Insignia. Um, you can also set up a master password as well, which is Fat Explorer. So I think you just click there. So no, because I have got it locked. But yeah, so unlock it and lock it using that. And then um, what you'll need to do after that is... Um, now you'll go to find it there. But you need to go back, I think, to devices again. <clears throat> Click on your drive, which will be there. And then um, you can mount it onto, mount, say, C, D, E, mount them onto X. Um, and then you can just literally go into your windows and drag and drop files for the um for the for the dashboards and any other files um like a soft mod or games etc onto your hard drive from there okay so i haven't got that available. i haven't got the the um the the, uh, the drive plugged in at the moment but you kind of get the gist on that and just looking at the security thing um as well um it's important so i think i said before that you make sure you lock it before you unplug everything to put into your hard drive. Okay, so the next stage will be plugging the new solid state drive in with the locked HDD key, and hopefully it'll work there. Okay guys, so the next thing you need to do is remove your stock hard drive. So the first thing you need to do is take the caddy out. Um, I'm not gonna explain to take the top off and the, um, the um, et cetera, et cetera, because there's loads of guides on the internet to do that, but to get the hard drive out, you need a T10 security talks bit thing, and there's three pins, one there, I believe, one there, and a hidden one there. You can see that there, yeah. One, two, three. Take those pins out. Lift your drive out as such. Fairly nice clean Xbox in there as well, amazingly. And then, I'll just show you on the sides, you'll see the um, mounting points. You see them there? For the hard drive, just those there. Um, stick your Torx bit in there and just unscrew them just to release the hard drive. Okay, so there's some there's points over there as well. Okay, put the original caddy out, as you can see here, and I've mounted the, the caddy for the SSD inside. And uh, just a future reference, that's what I think what it should fit like. Uh, you'll know it's the right way around because the holes, as you can see on the side there, are, I think they're lined up. But they will line up on the side and you'll be able to see through them. And then just use the original uh, Torx bit screws there just to secure it on the sides. And then what I'm going to do now is I've mounted the adapter to the top of the solid state drive. I'm just going to secure it underneath with the pins provided to the caddy. Um, it should go in like that, something like that when it's all secured. And then we can fit the, uh, the new IDE cable and hopefully get the party started. Everything hooked up, um, power cable to the adapter, ID, new IDE to the adapter. Now, a little bit of guesswork here, but looking from the pictures on the, uh, on the the from the eBay seller, the blue connector goes to the hard drive. Uh, there's a middle gray connector to the back of the DVD drive. And then you can just see there, there's a black connector that to the motherboard. So just make sure everything's plugged in. Motherboard, DVD drive, solid state drive. Make sure you've got your power leads in, back of the DVD drive and back of the solid state drive. I'm gonna put all this together and then fingers crossed, it should work. Um, you obviously get that back in the original cabinet. Guys, everything's all in place. Um, I'll tidy everything up uh, if it all works, get the lid back on, sort the wiring out. But um, here we go, I'm going to film it, let's just see if everything works, fingers crossed. Okay, looks good, we're getting the green light. Put the boot into the Xbox now. And that looks like it's working. Absolutely marvellous. Slightly longer boot up time there, probably because it's obviously a first time boot. Great, so um, that's brilliant. So what I'm gonna do now is just get everything set up. I will then uh, soft mod it um, with a USB stick and a save game exploit and then get Insignia back on it. And my Xbox is back on the road. And I think the good thing, guys, obviously about this is you can kind of future-proof your system 
uh, because a solid state drive should last a long, long time, certainly longer than a hard drive. And look at the size of that original stock hard drive there, absolute beast compared to little small solid state. So it's all done now. Um, Xbox has been soft modded. Uh, I've got Insignia back on there just by using the account recovery system that you can find on the Insignia website, you know, with your login details off, um, on an Xbox Live. And um, yeah, got soft mod installed, lovely. It's running 480p, 720p, force progressive scan. I set the video region to NTSC. Everything's just really, really great. Um, really happy with it. Only downside is, is that uh, boot time is about 30 seconds now from a cold start. Whereas before with a stock hard drive, it was pretty much instantaneous. From what I've read up though, because I'm using a generic um, SATA adapter, it might be down to that, might be down to the hard drive, I don't know, but I can certainly live with a 30 minute um, boot up time. So I hope you found this video helpful. And uh, of course, like, share and subscribe. And uh, yeah, take care guys. Thanks for watching.